Hello, 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 everyone. It's Teresa with Critters Crochet. I am so sorry about this this tutorial not showing up yesterday. Um, but <laughs> by the time my husband and I finished with uh, coming back from the hospital from his procedure, um, and everything went well with that, he's doing just fine. Uh, but once we got home, we were wore out, and we both fell asleep, <laughs> and. We didn't wake up till late afternoon, and so it just didn't happen yesterday, and I am so sorry. But today I have another tutorial for you guys, and it is another uh, tutorial for earrings. And this time you will not need your little wrench, um, the pliers, I mean. Last time I was, we did earrings and we used the little pliers. You won't need these for this one. Because on this one, we're going to make some loop earrings, and they already have the um the pieces attached so there's no attaching so and these i got once again at hobby lobby so for this one you're going to need two loops your tapestry needle and scissors a 3.0 millimeter hook and some dmc floss or you can even use a thread any color you want to use so these are the pieces and um I will be right back to show you how to get started on these real simple, cute little earrings. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I have a slip knot with my DMC thread, and I did not pull any strands out of this. I'm just using it as it comes off the embroidery loop with the, um, I think there's like six strands of thread here, but I'm just using all of them together. Um, and you can also use like a number five or number 10 um, thread. So it's just up to you, but I like using the DMC. So what we're gonna do in our, I've got my slip stitch, we are going to put 12 single crochets inside this hoop. So the way we do that is I hold my hoop and I go in, I bring the thread under like this, and then I just, and what I do is I wrap my finger around a couple of times just to get the tension. But what you want to do is you're going to go underneath, put your yarn underneath the hook, and you're going to go in, and I start by slip stitching. Whoop, let me get my, <laughs> got to get my hands in the right position. But I start with a slip stitch just to attach to that. All right, like that. And then we are going to go ahead and work our single crochets. So we have one, go into the loop and grab two, and you're going into the loop and grabbing your yarn. Three, four, five, six, and you don't want to be too tight with this because you're going to go crochet into these in just a minute. Seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. 12. All right, so we have our 12 single crochets. Let me turn this around. You have your 12 single crochets in this loop on this earring. And you, we'll adjust this when we're finished to get it centered, but it's real easy to slide these around and adjust them. So what we want to do next is we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work, okay? Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to, um, after we've turned, we're going to, in the first stitch, we're going to put three doubles. Um, so, right here. One, and then we're just crocheting like normal. One, two, three three doubles. Then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to slip stitch in the next one. 
all right? And that's our repeat. Three doubles, skip a stitch, slip stitch. And I will show you what that looks like at the end. All right, so I have, I'm almost to the end of this. I have three little scallops, so we're going to do the last one. And so you're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to do, and you want to make sure you're getting through both of those loops like you would normally do when you single crochet. So, whoops, I dropped my loop that I went over. All right, so one, two, three, three doubles, skip the next stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch in the last stitch. And I wasn't very loose, so it's going to take me, there we go. <laughs> slip stitch into that last, and there you go. And then what you're going to do is I, I like to do a chain of one, and then I'm going to cut my yarn, or cut my thread. and then pull that through and just pull that tight okay and then you're going to weave your ends in and you're going to do that three doubles skip a stitch slip stitch three doubles skip a stitch slip stitch three doubles you're going to repeat that until you have four of these little scallops and that is it and so then you're going to repeat that for the second earring these we these ends need to be woven into the back and that's all there is. So I'm going to weave these ends and I'm going to show you what this looks like without the tails all sticking out. Okay, and there we are. This is what the earrings look like with uh, the tails all weaved in in the back. And it's just a really cute, simple earring to make. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was a quick and easy one today. But again, remember, three doubles are 12 single crochets to start do 12 singles for your foundation then you're going to in the you're going to chain one and turn and in the first stitch three doubles then you're going to skip a stitch and put a slip stitch in the next one in the next stitch three doubles in the same stitch skip a stitch single crochet and you're going to do that you're going to repeat this three more times until you have four little scallops and then weave in your ends. Quick, simple, easy little earring. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks.